Hello, Brit here with another Brit Tried Samples. Today we're trying something a little bit different. Instead of a skincare product, we are trying a beauty blender soap. Blender cleanser. Give your favorite sponge a bath with this newly formulated liquid blender cleanser. Made especially for soaking out tough stains, blender cleanser will keep out, keep your beauty blender and brushes squeaky clean. Use a using a damp beauty blender, press on the pump nozzle. Well, I'm afraid there is no pump nozzle. A distributing cleanser onto the surface of the sponge. Lightly squeeze and work into a lather. For stubborn stains, pour a small amount of blender cleanser into a bowl with water and let it soak for a few hours. Remove excess water and place beauty blender in a clean, ventilated area to dry. Or just use it, <laughs> which is what I'm going to do. Sample size. Not for resale, but sharing is okay. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Alright, so I've got a dirty brush and a dirty blender. So we're going to be using this today in the way, in just a quick cleanse kind of way, because I don't need to let it soak. It's just got foundation on it and, and uh, concealer. It doesn't have like blush or any colored products, pigmented products on it. Alright, so we're cracking open our little sample. I guess I'll dampen the sponge. I have foundation on right now. No, uh, no concealer or anything yet. Just foundation and eyeshadow. Hi. Sponge dampen. Let's just apply a little bit of our cleanser. Don't use too much of it because I'd like to save some for the brush. I'm just kind of like working it. Oh, I should have showed like the texture. I'll put a little bit more on. It's sort of yellow. Kind of slimy. Like a soap. Very soap-like. It has a smell. Kind of lemon, citrus, lemon, cleaning, clean smell. A little bit of like a, like an herbal undertone. Like an earthy herbal rosemary kind of undertone. So I'm just kind of squeezing. Sort of... You know, it's doing the thing. Feels full of the foods. I'm just kind of squeezing it out a bit. Big slow squeezes. Ah, okay. I'm just rolling it between my hands. Hmm. Okay, wow. Wow. <clears throat> I am impressed. So it's got a light scent it's taken off most of like the like this part but where i use the tip for the like my concealer and stuff it's still quite it feels like there's still product in there you know whenever you like, squeeze it and it's like staying together you know what i mean so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use it on the brush next so i can use the rest of the product for the beauty blender and try to use it in that tip dampen my brush a little bit I'm just kind of swirl it around my hands. There's a definite product evacuation happening here. Just trying to get into all the bristles, but like, you try to keep it like this if you're cleaning your brushes so that gravity works and it doesn't put the soap and product and, and water and everything like into your, into the this part of your brush where bacteria can fester. Ooh. Brush is feeling very soft. It feels like there's product remaining in the bristles, so I'm trying to wring it out a bit under the water. Hmm. Maybe I'll go in for a double cleanse. Don't want to use too much because I still want to save some for the beauty blender. It says to lather it up, but unless you're supposed to use like a lot, it doesn't really come to a lather. I'm gonna try to put it under hot water for a bit. Definitely feels soft, like it feels soft. It doesn't feel <sighs> This is an unfinished eye look, by the way. I don't even have mascara on yet. Okay. <clears throat> 
it is undeniably softened. Like, very, 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 very soft. I think there's probably conditioners in this formula. Because, wow. Like, that, that's soft. However, with, like, hand soap, I've gotten it, like, white again. But it is very, very, very soft. There's definitely conditioners in this formula. Okay, so we're gonna kind of hang that at an angle. We're gonna put the rest of this little sample, whoop, 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 whoop. not in the sink, but on the sponge right at the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna just sort of like moisturize it into the tip of it here. This feels very, um... <laughs> not gonna say anything, not gonna say anything. Too gay for this shit. Alright, so now we're gonna go in. I'm gonna use some hot water and just kind of try to rinse it out with some hot water first. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of did it. I'm just kind of focusing at the tip. It has expelled a lot of the concealer that was clogged up in there. It feels like really soft, really conditioned. It's nice. It's bouncy. Um, does it take all the stains out? No. And it doesn't leave it feeling squeaky clean, which is something that I like, like, I look for whenever I'm using things to clean brushes and things that can get bacteria, things that are going on my face. I'm just gonna grab a paper towel. Cats are notifying me that it is time for their snack. So I will go do that now. Final thoughts. I'd rather something that makes them feel really, really clean than something that makes them feel conditioned. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, they feel clean, but they don't feel squeaky clean. Like, I like whenever I, I'm squeezing my brush out and the bristles are feeling squeaky, that means that they're clean, right? The conditioning formula is nice, but it smells like the lemon. I don't know. Eh. I don't think I'd spend money on it. I don't even know how much it is. I might report back in a bit after I feed them and let you know. But it's okay. It's all right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bash it. It's not the worst thing I've ever used. <laughs> oh, there, dusty bones in the tub. You wanna help me say goodbye? Oh. All right. Well, I'm gonna go give them their snack. I will. See everyone later. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for being here with me. Goodbye, Dr. Bones. Bye, Dr. Bones. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.